Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Defend Marimba 2022, hosted by Louise Heinzel and 49 Dragonflies. Today's prompts are acetate and banner and the surprise animal is seahorse. I do love seahorses. They're so cute. All right, so... I picked up from Amazon some acetate that you could print on just like you used to with your overhead transparencies. How gorgeous does that image look? Print it out on a transparency. I am delighted with it. I really, really am. Anyhow, so what I thought was I would use that and then you can lift that to look at the actual real image of the seahorse underneath and I'd make it a little banner on one of those giant paper clips. So all I'm doing is just pasting it onto a book page just to give it a, you know, bit of a frame, a bit more of an edge. I'm using a piece of, this is actually one of my eco-dyed papers. Gosh, I have, <laughs> that's another video I've promised you that I haven't quite got to yet. Uh, but that's one of my eco-dyed papers and I thought it kind of looked like oceany it had that ocean feel in the way uh, that the you know print came across the paper so I decided I'd put that across and I just make it a little bit longer I wanted this to have a really nice rustic kind of feel to it a little bit of that vintage style as well so just pasting that down as a bit of a journal spot on the back and then I'm using calico between that and the transparency so quite a bit of fun was had let me tell you i am mucking about here trying to work out where to put it on but all i'm doing is i'm just threading the calico through the paper clip now what i end up doing is actually attaching the uh, calico onto the paper clip and then i sew it all through to get the uh, paper image onto the calico and I actually just thread it through with a couple of eyelets to get the acetate on. Now it took me a little bit of working out this. At first I thought sure I'll just put the transparency on top and I'll be able to hole punch through all of them. Hmm, Not a great plan, don't do that. <laughs> so I'm just tidying up the holes here on the acetate and then I thought, okay, well, let me try punching it with a piece of paper in between. And the problem here was that because it's fabric, I should have actually punched the smaller sized hole in the fabric and then put the eyelet in. So I'll show you in just a moment what I did to actually fix that up. But first, a little bit of magic. I told you I was going to sew through the actual paper to put that onto the banner and bing magic it's all sewn wasn't I quick <laughs> all right so this is where I'm pulling the eyelets out again because you know I tried gluing I tried doing a few things and I went all right this just is not working so that piece of paper I used before I popped that in the middle and then I put the eyelets through again and that's worked a treat it's actually it's actually really cool so it only needs to catch the fabric ever so slightly so you know I learned something hopefully you did too now all I did was I tied a piece of string through one on each of the eyelets in the acetate I just did an overhead knot on the left there I'm tying in some little charms and then I just tied it through the loop on the banner and tied a normal reef knot, you know, left over right, right over left. Now, I mucked about and I had my head in shot, so I couldn't show you any of this bit, uh, but I just used three little jump rings to attach another little seahorse charm on the right. So, you know, that was just to add a little edge because I love those little seahorse charms. They're so cute. So there it is, all working. And then I was just trying to work out how I wanted the calico to sit on the back. I decided I would have it a little bit shorter to add a real contrast to the front 
frayed up the edges again and voila, there's the back all finished. So there are the little seahorses. You can just see them. And this just clips onto a page. So see, the banner is the banner off the paperclip because we call them paperclip banners or something like that. And uh, yeah, I thought that was really, really fun. So it just clips over the page. He was unbelievably quick to do. Once you've printed out your bits, no time at all. And you can do a whole heap of them. So there he is. You lift up your acetate, you lift up your calico, you can see the real page. And then you've got your journaling on the back. Isn't it amazing? I was so surprised how this came up. I was thrilled that I can print. So I've got an inkjet printer. It's actual printable transparency paper that I just searched on Amazon. And that was what I used to print on. And I noticed on my printer, you can change what type of, in the settings, I could change what type of paper goes into it. So there was, you know, photo paper, uh, I think uh, A4 or copy paper, photo paper, and there was a transparency paper. So I told it that there was transparency paper in the drawer and it let me print on it. So thrilled. I'm going to totally use that one again. So many ideas when we do this daily. Thank you, Louise and Barbara. Just loving it. Love it if you could leave me a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw today. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, keep creating. Enjoy.